Hey everyone, I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe. So, as you guys saw my moving video, I was really nervous with the pregnant girls. Um, I didn't want the stress of the move to put them into labor early. Well, this morning my fears were realized when I went out and Dip and Dot, who's not due until... Oh, oh, I don't know when you guys will see this video, but she's not due for at least another four days or so, which I know isn't too bad, but um, that's the earliest I've ever had a doe kid, and she's not really due yet, so it makes me worry. So, anyway, unfortunately, um, I have to go to work all day, and so I didn't get home until, she, let's see, I found her in early labor at 4.15 in the morning, and I didn't get home until about... Um, almost two o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, all I did was I ran in, grabbed the camera, set it up, and went to work um, on trying to save uh, whatever we could. Um, I wasn't sure because the labor was so long. I wasn't sure if the babies were alive, uh, how mom was doing. Um, I just took a quick assessment, watched her for a few minutes just to see how she was doing with pushing, is was she progressing, what the color of the discharge was, and uh, so anyway, here's kind of what unfolded. Check you again. Okay, I think it's breach. Can you just come hold her so she doesn't get up? Or at least so uh, she doesn't run off or something? So I'm pretty sure I feel the back knee. Good girl, baby. I think I'm going to pop the sack and, uh, and pull a leg out. Two are trying to come at one time. 
So, oh, so she does have no eyes. Uh, I, I think one. unless it's just all twisted in there. Uh, it's gonna be a pain. Hang on, baby. Don't push right now. So this one's probably dead because I don't feel a sack around the face. Deliver first. I guess whichever one I can get a hold of. This just doesn't feel right. It's not weird. very strange in there. I'm not sure what the heck I'm getting hold of. It's almost like it's the belly I'm pulling on. Yeah, it's very strange. Something ain't right. Hang on, baby. Hang on. This is just really weird. Good girl. Good girl. Keep pushing. Good girl. Push, Here, push, push. Push. See? I don't even know what the heck this is. That's what it is. What is it? Upside down? It was coming out. Oh, bent neck? Yeah. Yeah, it's premature. Push, mama. Come on. Push, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's a weird one. Whoa. Oh, it was just twisted. There you go. Now it looks oh. normal. Damn it. I was like, holy crap, that's weird looking. Sucks. Really premature looking. And then we no eyeballs. Okay, this one's bigger. Don't know if it's alive. It would be really nice if it was, but I think it's probably not. That's so weird. It doesn't look like it's got no eyeballs, you know? Yeah. Hang on, baby. Let me get a foot first. Hold on. Let me get a foot first. Easy. Easy. You're pushing the head first, baby. Hold on. Let me get this leg. Ugh. Hang on, baby. Let me get this leg first. Yeah, I was pulling it up just like that. That's why it felt weird. <coughs> Where's the foot? Hold on, baby. Let me get the foot out. It's hard doing that. Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. Here it comes. Oh my god, it's breathing. Oh my god, it's breathing. That's good. Come on, baby. Push, mama. Come on. Push. Almost. Almost. Come on, baby. Push. Push. I know. We're doing it with one leg, not Push. two. Come on, keep going. Hi, little one. Yeah. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Good job, Mama. Yeah, there's your baby. Oh, it's a girl. Baby. Oh, look, baby, here. Here's your girl. Okay, stay right there. I'm just going to go like, in and check, that. see if there's any more. Yeah, poor Mama. Good 
job, Tippin' Dot. Okay, she she's like done. She's gonna be red. Yeah, she'll be red. Like that. Good Bonnie job, looking. Dippin' Dot. Look, yeah. this is yours. I can't believe that thing's alive. Oh my gosh. All right, baby, come it's on. Good, though. I know you're a first timer, but you need to take care of this. This is yours. That's yours, baby. Yeah, there you, you smell go. That? Can you clean it for me? Come on, baby. You want the towel? Yeah, please. That's yours. Yeah, she's having trouble. She's a little having a little trouble breathing. What do you think? Yeah, will you clean that for me? You take care of her? Yeah? Just wait. Uh -uh. Girl. Just wait. I know you're tired, yeah. baby. I know you're tired. Just wait. All right, you guys. So this is what came out the first time. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, it's all twisted and premature, has no eyes. You can see they're all sunken in there. It's very, very interesting. And the pelvis, as you guys can see, was backwards or twisted. It should be this way, but it was actually this way, which is very strange. And it was a little girl. It was far enough along to be a girl, but it must have died probably at least a week ago. But we do have one healthy girl. Good job, Dippin' Dot. All right, so as you guys can see, we ended up with this weird baby that come out. Um, when I was inside, uh, when I was reaching and trying to find something to get a hold of to pull on, I found the head on the right-hand side when I was reaching in, but then in front of that, kind of to the left, was this really squishy stuff, and it almost felt like a bubble, but it was... After feeling it really well, I realized it was hair, and so there was no bubble. And so I'm trying to find something to grab a hold of, and I just couldn't find anything to get a hold of. So, but it started to move forward a little bit as I was messing with it. So I just went ahead and grabbed a hold of whatever I could, and I knew it wasn't right. It was very strange. So I started to kind of pull on it a little bit, and then um, I tried to push it back in so I could rearrange it, and it just, it the maneuver of it just wasn't working and I knew it wasn't right and so I went ahead and started pulling on it again and then I realized once I got it out I could see and then I popped the head out so where I was actually pulling was from the neck and chest area so that's how how it was coming out was th the neck first which was really strange but luckily because it was all malformed and small it came out fairly easily for her and, uh, and then when, as you guys saw, once I got a hold of the second baby, it was alive. I couldn't believe it. And she's doing amazing. She's up and nursing. Uh, I'll run back out and show you guys kind of how she's doing, but she's resting right now. So is mom. So far, both of them look really good. Uh, I think mom just needs some rest. That was a really long labor for her. And, uh, and then the baby, she's nursed. It's a doe. She has blue eyes. She's gorgeous. Um, so at least we have that. These are our first bazooka kids. If you guys remember last December when bazooka was born. Uh, so he is the father. Um, so let me show you guys how she's doing. There's the baby. She's doing good. So I wanted to show you guys what the afterbirth looks like. A lot of times you don't get to see it because the moms will eat it. Or, like in our case, um, the livestock dog is waiting to eat it. So this is what it looks like when it drops out of the mother. And it's full of veins and... Um, here, you guys are blocking the sun. There we go. Um, 
little nodules and stuff, I guess you could say, that actually connect to the inside of the dough. So anyway, if you guys see this laying around, that's normal. That's what the afterbirth looks like. Okay, Zara, you can have it now. Yeah, good girl. Yum, yum. Here's the little cutie pie. This is little Primrose with her beautiful blue eyes. Yeah. Good girl. We're still working on building out here. That's why there's materials everywhere. Good job, Dippin' Dot. You did so good. Yeah, is baby going to go nurse? She's looking for it. Check it out, you guys. This is my view from my dining room window. And that is the goat's pen right there. That's where you go through the gate. And you can see them all the way out in the pasture out there. can still see the snowy mountains where we used to live. All right, you guys. Well, definitely another learning experience. I have not dealt with that before. A premature baby or whatever it is. Uh, the pelvis being inside out was really strange. Um, so... Anyway, hopefully nobody else goes in early labor. I'm going to keep a very close eye on Divinity, Coconut, and Hopscotch. Hopscotch is the next one due. She's due in exactly seven days. And then the other two girls are due four days after her. So hopefully the rest go full term. I'm really hoping we don't have any more issues. But luckily we did get one healthy baby, so I'm really happy about that. She will be staying for sure. Um, she is a percentage doling, so, but anything I get out of her will be purebreds because she's an 88%. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.